Hey everybody, my name is Christy Gaddy. I am with Home Life Academy and the Apple Corps support team. Today I'm going to be walking you through the steps of navigating Apple Corps. We're going to begin with getting into an Apple Corps if you're brand new. We're going to show you how to set up your education plan and everything that's needed for that. And then we're going to take you through getting those grades in since it's almost time for reporting grades. So let's jump right in. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your homelifeacademy.com and it's going to look like this. You're going to go to the top right hand corner, my HLA member login, click that, and it's going to take you to your login page that looks like this. And then you'll simply just click login and you'll be on your family home page. Now, down at the bottom, you'll see grade reporting, Apple Core. Just click that green apple and it takes you into your Apple Core. And you'll see a list of your students there that you have registered with us. And today we're gonna look at the last student that I have to graduate. You're in Apple Core, you see the years that you have listed there. You're gonna click this add year button. You'll see all of the years that the student's been registered. You're gonna select the school year. So we're gonna select 2021 and she's in ninth grade this year, and so we'll add year. Now, if you happen to have clicked something wrong in that dropdown, you'll see it listed over here. You can always edit it. And once you get that added in for the student, click Return to Students, and it'll bring you back to your student list. Then you're gonna click View Report Grades again, and then you'll see your new school year added. Now, this is where you're gonna add your education plan that is needed every year for registration. So you're gonna click Add Course, and you're gonna be concerned with this box right here, Textbook Resources, Category on the right, and then Course on the right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select Bible, and I'm gonna put in Bible History, and then for textbook resource, we're gonna use KJV Bible. We'll have Sunday School Lessons and let's see taking notes and then we'll go down and we'll click add course this little box pops up and it says your course has been saved and it's asking you if you want to add another course to this school year and you're going to click yes and the next one now for every student they have to have a math and language art so we're going to go ahead and click english here she'll be in english nine and we're going to use i think it's mcgraw hill is the title and then we're going to click add course We'll add another one. We are going to add math, so we are going to use Saxon. And she's actually doing pre-algebra, so we'll put that in. We do have a tutorial class, I think her physical science, so we'll just put the name of that tutorial in here. That's all you need. You can put the teacher's name if you'd like. We're going to add her science and physical science. Now, if there is a course that you don't see listed, uh, we have world history as an option, but maybe you're doing world history and geography combined. What you'll do is you'll click this can't find course button. This little box pops up. Just type your name, world history and geography, and then you'll click add course after you put your resources in. We've got all of our courses listed. We're going to go ahead and click no and then you'll see everything listed here. If by some chance that during the middle of the year you have changed curriculums, you found something different that works, all you have to do is click edit semester, click your course info tab and you can change that there and then click save. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my email address is just christy at homelifeacademy.com and I'd be happy to help. Thank you.